Hello my friends, today is December 24. Our topic is the women. My friends, since the sin entered into the world, there has been a burden and concern that women were treated unwell in the society. They have been always considered as a second class citizen. They have been standing behind the screen and they were not entertained in the public. Their notions have not been much respected and considered. Perhaps you may be in the same predicament today. Even you may not be able to be treated well. Your opinions may be disrespected or not at all welcomed. But my sisters, today there is a good news for you that Jesus brings into your life. In the history of the Bible, since the creation of the world, women were not included in the Jewish genealogy. But Jesus Christ was not like that. He welcomed women in his genealogy. Let's read the passage of our meditation today from Matthew chapter 1 verse 16. Jacob, the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary, and Mary was the mother of Jesus, who is called the Messiah. My friends, if you very closely read Matthew first chapter, you will find five women are mentioned there. Number one, Tamar. Number two, Rahab. Number three, Bathsheba, the mother of Solomon. Number four, Ruth. Number five, Mary. Among these five, there were three were Gentiles. Two were Jews, but four were sexually abused. Yet these women were in the family of Jesus Christ because Jesus wanted them to be in his family. But why? What are the reasons? Number one, Jesus respects this kind of women. Jesus doesn't discriminate any women. And number three, Jesus gives hope for women. My sisters, you may be living with burden hearted. You may be passing through abuse and sometimes assault. You may be living like a slave in your own family. Your love and hard work may not be treated with respect. But Jesus encourages you today to be strong, to be brave, to be encouraged because you are highly exalted before the eyes of Jesus. Though your own family members despise you, though your spouse disrespect you, yet don't give up, don't give in. Your son is going to rise up in your life. Your throne is going to be set for you to sit. Your tears of sorrow will become the tears of joy. Here is the prophecy from Psalms 46 verse 5. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God will help her when morning dawns. Dear friends, our Jesus will not discriminate anyone. Our Jesus will always love his children. Therefore, my sisters today, have hope in Jesus Christ. Let's pray. Heavenly God, we thank you so much indeed for this wonderful wonderful sisters in Christ in this world. Bless them, dear Lord. They may be passing through several challenges, several discriminations. They must be disrespected in their own family. But today, please, dear Lord, exalt them. Let them have hope in Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, for blessing them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you, my sisters.